Delta Airlines missing on earnings and revenue in Q1, but the airline is forecasting a better second quarter as it relies on strong summer travel. Yahoo Finance's Brad Smith here to tell us what investors learned from the company's latest report. Hello, sir. Hey, good to see you, Dave. Good to be with you here this afternoon as we've been tracking shares of DAL throughout the day. And it's been some interesting activity here as they try to reach a cruising altitude following this earnings report where ultimately, yeah, you're taking a look at some of the actuals versus the estimates. It was a miss on the top and bottom line for this most recent, what they call the March quarter, but calendar year first quarter is what you think of that as. And ultimately, even as we're taking a look at some of those figures. Let's also remember that this is still an airline that has not gotten back to its full pre-pandemic capacity, yet still is eclipsing some figures and even setting some new high marks as well. One particular high mark, they saw their 10 highest cash sales days in the company's history during the first quarter. So that one of the high notes, however, some of the low notes really kicked off when American Airlines kind of put out a sneakers app-esque shock drop, if you will, of their earnings report. We were just talking about sneakers app in the break. Well, <laughs> anyway, here, as you think about what this kind of sets up for the rest of the airlines during the earnings season, it is with this broader context of where travel demand sits right now. And so travel demand, as I was running some figures based on TSA traveler passenger volumes, they averaged above the pre-pandemic levels for the entire quarter of uh, uh, the first quarter of 2023 here. That is the first time that we've eclipsed for an entire quarter, a pre-pandemic marker. And that is significant because that is the exact demand that CEOs like that of Delta Airlines and Bastion really comment about when they talk about what is a multi-year resurgence that they're going to be seeing in travel here. And so that's something that they are expecting to continue as well, Dave. That's a nice sneakers analogy there, my friend. You spoke to Ed Bastian earlier today about their plans to hire more pilots. What did he tell you? So there was a lot to really dive into, especially when you think about the new contract that they were able to net with pilots and, and putting that in front of the union. And at the same time, the number of pilots that need to go into training as well. Here's a snippet of what he had to say. We've hired over the last couple of years, you know, between three and 4,000 pilots. Uh, so we, we largely are where we need to be. We continue to hire, I'd say, now more at a normal attrition level compared to uh, pre-pandemic levels. The challenge we have at the moment is we need to get all the new pilots trained, and we have a, a fixed number of training devices. We're doing well this summer coming up. We are minimizing the uh, training. We get, we've got most of our big training uh, events already behind us and we'll be able to put more and more pilots into the operation, which gives us the, uh, the ability to fly a bigger schedule. And so there you heard it from Delta CEO Ed Bastian, and even over the kind of quarters where we've been able to keep tabs on where those conversations are moving with pilots, where those negotiations have ultimately netted out is, of course, a higher cost for Delta, but still one that they would continue to talk about as competitive compared to the rest of the airlines as well. And then being able to take better care compensation wise of their pilots and of the staff, that is something that they believe is a talent acquisition and retention strategy that's going to help out with Delta over that longer term as well. Well, Dave. Tell you what, I just flew across country, four flights, all at capacity. I think the demand it ain't going away anytime soon. We should always take a full shot of Brad Smith. You got to get the <laughs> shoes in with Brad Smith. We need the full shot next time he's here. There you go. Nice effort. Brad, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Good job.